what's going on guys it's your boy caster and today i'm going to show you how to get rid of this camtasia recording error okay it's actually pretty simple all right so guys i am using uh an imac 2021 uh, but i'm going to show you if you're using something else so i'm mentioning imac 2021 because this imac of mine has the m1 chip okay with the m1 chip uh you cannot do uh the command r like you would to go to the recovery um you know recovery option you know with the m1 uh you have to press the power button and hold hold the button until you see a message telling you it's loading you know the recovery environment right so it's different first thing is to, to do is to click on the apple logo click on uh, about this mac and uh you want to click here software update make sure your computer is up to date you need to see this message right here up to date okay so once it is up to date you move to the next step which is to shut down the computer but shut it down from the apple logo do not shut it down from the button okay you make sure it's shut down once once the computer shuts down now you need to restart the computer by pressing the button okay when you press the button again remember this is for m1 chip computers you press the button and you hold it do not release the button you hold it until you see there will be a message uh, telling you that it is loading uh, the, the recovery environment okay once you see that message guys this article i'm actually gonna include it below this video you can just go click on it and you see the full steps uh, but i'm just telling you i'm just showing you how it's done you don't have to go read this um but you know i will include the link below this video so once the the, the, the recovery environment is loaded this is how it's gonna look like this is it right here okay but you want to make sure you click on option it's not going to be selected by default just click on option you click on continue below and you're going to get this recovery window okay so once you get this window just go over to utilities all right make sure you click on utilities and click on startup security utility okay the startup uh, security utility will show okay and take the one that has the mac os okay you have to it has to be the one that has your your system installed okay so guys um most of the time you're gonna only see one hard drive here or one ssd but if you do have multiple ssd in your system you're gonna see all of them okay make sure you click on the one that says mac os and click on security policy okay now security policy will open up this window right here where most likely uh, your system has this one enabled what we're gonna do we're gonna enable the one below which says the one which says reduce security okay don't worry we're not gonna put your computer at risk because this is only uh, to allow us to install something that we didn't get from the app store so once you have this one selected make sure you select the one right here that's the one that says allow user management of kernel extensions from identified developers okay so once you have that uh, ticked you need to click on ok once you click ok it's going to ask you to enter your admin password okay make sure you enter that admin password and you know the changes that you made will take effect on your computer okay so once that's done you need to go back uh, to the Apple logo and we're gonna restart the machine okay so guys when, when the machine restart you're gonna see this right here it's gonna it's gonna show up telling you like some extension you know has been trying to do something so the system blocked it it's gonna show you that on the screen so once you see this message all right do not ignore it go and click open security preferences and security preferences is inside you know the the system preferences all right so if it doesn't open it uh if you click here and it doesn't open it uh automatically 
you need to come over here and you can find it over here all right but most of the time it's gonna it's gonna open all right so once it opens okay you need to click on the lock again i'm gonna show it to you right here okay so this is the lock they're talking about and this is the security privacy that will open you see if i click on um, if i click right here on system preferences it shows me the system preferences uh you know home home screen right then you have to go in and find the security privacy in here right but if you do if this one pops up if this one pops up and you click here directly it's gonna show up it's gonna show up this window right here it's gonna go directly here and all you gotta do is just click to open the padlock make sure you enter your admin password okay remember uh, we had a, a message that something is being blocked you know the uh, the rogue amoeba software is being blocked okay so once you open this you're gonna see that you're gonna see this message right here this is it right here let me just show you how it looks like this is it this right here will be shown here okay so all you have to do make sure you click to allow you know the, the extension you know allow it to run and you'll be good basically this will fix the problem all right but what do you do if this one is not enabled because this one has to be blue uh in order for you to press if you see it grayed out like this then what you do you restart your computer and come here directly and you see it will be enabled i mean it will be blue so uh, you can click on it to allow it Okay All right guys, so this is how it's done. So once you have that um, done all you do restart your computer again and This error right here will be no more and there you have it guys. This is how you fix this error I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Bye. Bye